Everybody and welcome back to another video. So if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Julianne. I'm a Canadian, I'm living abroad in Germany and over Christmas I was back in Canada visiting my family and one thing I do every single time that I go back to Canada is I go thrift shopping because I just, ugh. thrift shopping in North America, there's just so much more of it. It's also less expensive than in Germany, I will say. And it's just such a fun activity to go thrift shopping. It's like a treasure hunt. You never know what you're gonna find. You know, you can go in with an idea of something to look for, but then you're just finding treasures and it's, it's great. I think that differs a little bit from Germany because in Germany, you know, the thrift stores are smaller. They're usually like more boutique stores. Items are usually priced higher and the shops are just smaller. Whereas then you go to Canada and the thrift stores are just massive. <laughs> and there are just so, so many goodies to find. So I thought in today's video, I would share with you guys everything that I thrifted in my last trip to Canada. I found some great things, which, oh my goodness, I'm so happy about. So starting off, I found some really solid basics in Value Village. So we only had time to go to a Value Village. I did go to another like locally owned thrift store. They had more like home things, which I totally loved, but trying not to buy very delicate, fragile things for the house to then bring back to Germany. So I stuck more to the clothes section at Value Village and here's what I found. The first item, just a super solid, basic, long sleeve t-shirt. So this is Denver Haynes. It's a long sleeve, kind of like a, like a grayish color. It's not totally brown, a grayish mauve color. So one of the things that I was looking for is a few more long sleeve shirts and tighter fitting long sleeve shirts. I have a couple like baggy ones. I wanted some fitted ones and this is just a solid basic. So this is just a really good layering piece to have under sweaters or under a vest or something. And because I was on the hunt for long sleeve shirts, I also picked up this one. It's from H&M originally. I think it was like brand new though. There was no signs of wear on it at all. And I think this was like $3. So long sleeve. And I really love the color of the stripes, like this nice sagey color. There is a trend with this haul. I think my style is definitely going towards blues and greens. So. A nice green striped shirt, very cute. This I would honestly just wear with a pair of jeans and sneakers. My style is very casual. I don't really dress up. I don't really have too many places to go to to dress up. Even the church that I attend to, everybody's just wearing jeans. It's pretty casual. So a nice basic just to wear with a casual outfit. Another goal of mine for this thrift haul was to get a sweatshirt. I was going for either a blue or a gray one and I found this blue one. It's actually from Fruit of the Loom and you know, just a solid dark blue sweatshirt. I don't have any of these and I have some photos saved. I mean, so basic, but a sweatshirt with the top of a white t-shirt poking out and then having some like necklaces layered. I just think that's a really cute, casual look. And then adding the necklaces makes it a little bit more elevated. It does have the little detail in front, just a triangle, and that's about it. Just a solid sweatshirt, absolutely no signs of wear or tear, and this was also just a few dollars. A 
another thing that was on my list for things that I wanted, this is the last thing that I was actually searching for that I found, and it is this vest. So I have been wanting a black vest for a really long time, and I really like this one because it's not really shiny. It's not that shiny fabric. I like that it's more of like a matte, it has a matte look to it. So this is a really old Kirkland vest, and I really like these details that they've added. Kind of, what would you call that? Like a ruching, an elasticated waist. <laughs> and like most things, I would probably just wear this with a t-shirt and some jeans. So I think it's cute left open, but also when you do it up, I think because of the ruching on the sides i think it's very flattering and it gives it more of a feminine fit 10 out of 10 i was so happy that i found this So the next item I found is a little bit of a wild card and this is this is totally what I mean by you go in, you might be looking for something and then you just, you find some treasures. This is one of those items. So I found this vintage 100% pure wool, kind of like a Nordic inspired cardigan. It has these metal clasps on it which are so cute and Oh my goodness, it's so warm and nice, and I have been loving this sweater lately. The tag says Susan Bristol, which I haven't heard of before. It's not like it was made in Scotland or anything, but it is 100% pure wool, and it's not really itchy. I was expecting it to be more itchy, but it's actually pretty soft. And again, I would probably just wear this with jeans and a t-shirt just like I am now. How cute is this? So this sweater, it actually didn't have a tag when I found it on the racks. And so I, you know, I didn't know what they were gonna price it at at the till. I thought, okay, maybe it's gonna be like $20 or something because it is wool and it's a really nice sweater. And then I got there and it was only $10 and I was so happy about it because this is, this is like an item that I want to keep for the rest of my life. I love it so much. <laughs> All right, so the last and quite possibly the best item that I have ever found at a thrift store is this black trench coat. <laughs> and I'm so happy I found this. It's, it's kind of funny because, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't so sure about it, trying it on, looking at it in the mirror, and then there was this other couple that was beside me, and they're like, oh, that looks good. You need to get that. And that just sold me on it. So it's definitely more on the oversized fit, which I do like because then I can wear some sweaters underneath it if I need to. I just have it tied in the back and this jacket just has so many cool details. You know, it's not just a basic trench coat. It's like, it's got some cool stuff on it. <laughs> so you can see the little flap on the back. Also has some buckle here, which I don't know what it's for, but it looks really cool. I don't even know how to show you the full length of this. So I definitely like styling this open. I'm going to wear this every day this spring, 
and in the fall time it's gonna be so nice it did come with the lining so maybe when it like warms up a little bit like it's really cold in germany right now after it warms up a little bit then i can start wearing it with the lining but i do kind of like how it falls without the lining more it's not as stiff when i was at the thrift store i was a little uncertain about this and i am so glad that i bought it So that's my little thrift haul for you guys. I am so happy with everything that I found. There were a lot of other things, but these items just, you know, I knew that I would wear them. I don't want to go out and just buy a bunch of stuff because it's cute or something and not really get much use out of it. In this last year, I have really found my style. I, I know what looks good on me. I know what I like. And it was really fun to be able to go 